Hi Virgo, I'm Jennifer. Let's find out what messages that spirits have for you. Okay. Got the cards ready to go. I'm just going to shuffle three times. Spirits, what does Virgo need to know? What does Virgo need to know? What does Virgo need to know? For March 2021. Okay, one more time. What does Virgo need to know? Okay, we're ready to go, Virgo. I just wanted to get your energy in the cards. Spirits, what's happening with Virgo in the present? What's happening with Virgo in the present? Okay, you have the full cards, so you're taking a leap of faith. We're going to lay out all the cards and then go through and clarify them. What's crossing Virgo? Okay, Ten of Wands. There's a heavy burden that you're carrying right now. And in the past, there was some type of message that came in that kind of made things difficult. What happened in the recent past? Spirits, what happened in the recent past? What happened in the recent past with Virgo? Okay, Seven of Swords, there was some sneaky behavior in the recent past. Lying, cheating, or stealing. Somebody was being sneaky. What are Virgo thinking about, Spirits? What are Virgo's thinking about? Okay. So there's something that you're waiting for. You're waiting for something significant to come in. What's going to happen in the near future, spirits? What's going to happen in the near future for Virgo? Okay. Okay. So it gave us two cards, Strength and Four of Cups. You're going to need inner strength because someone is refusing an offer here. Someone's trying to offer somebody something and the other person's refusing it. What are Virgo bearing spirits? Knight of Wands. This is someone who comes in very quickly with a lot of passion, but then they leave again. They're not dependable. They're... Okay. And how people are seeing you, you have the Eight of Swords and the Queen of Cups. They're seeing you with a lot of love and being very giving, but at the same time, you're feeling stuck about something. What you're hoping for with the chariot, you're wanting to move forward on something. Take action. What's going to happen in the future, spirits? Okay, the five of swords and the hermit. So, I feel like there's somebody here in the future that just wants to win at any expense that's all they care about is just winning they don't care about the other people involved and then with the hermit card this is you may be taking a time out taking some time alone to yourself okay and then let's clarify these cards um, on the bottom of the deck you have the four of swords so 
you're in the process of healing right now. Taking a break right now also and healing from something. Okay. What's what's happening with Virgo spirits? Why is the fool card here in the present spirits? Why is the fool card here? Okay, so in the present, you are taking a leap of faith on something. This is what's happening right now because you made a judgment call, a very significant judgment call that um, can either end something or begin something, something huge. But um, I see you spending some time alone right now to make this judgment call. Because you do want to take a leap of faith on something. Okay, and what's crossing you? To clarify the Ten of Wands, you're carrying this very, very heavy burden that you've been carrying for a long time. Um, and then to clarify that, you got the Four of Cups. So, there's someone here, and I feel like it's you, that someone else is trying to offer you a cup of love or an apology or something and you're you're not even acknowledging it you don't want it could have something to do with an air sign we got the king of swords here someone who's cold just straight to the point What happened in the past? Spirits, what happened in the past? Why is the Knight of Swords here? Okay. So in the past, to clarify, the Knight of Swords, this communication coming in, you have the King of Cups and the world. So this communication, you closed out one cycle and entered into a new cycle. And um, there, this could have had something to do with a water sign. The Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio person. What happened in the recent past? Why is the Seven of Swords here? Okay, Seven of Pentacles. Okay, so to clarify the Seven of Swords, we have the Seven of Pentacles and the Seven of Wands. That's three sevens. Somebody was being very sneaky. And um, there was something here that you were waiting for. There's people gossiping. I just got the Seven of Swords again. There was something you were trying to balance out, but there was people here that were gossiping. You may have been feeling defensive and withholding information and trying to juggle a couple different things at the same time. Because you were feeling really defensive. Okay. 
what are Virgos thinking about spirits? Okay. So we have the Justice and the Eight of Pentacles. So there is something that you're waiting for here, something that you've been working on. This can also have something to do with a lawsuit, like a legal matter that you're waiting for. But you are trying to have patience and find like a, you're trying to find a balance cards spirits what's going to happen in the near future for Virgo what's going to happen Okay, so in the near future, um, you are going to be using inner strength and refusing this cup from someone else. And see, you know, you've invested a lot of time and energy and effort into something and you're not happy with it. And two right there on your face, you're not happy with these. You've only got three cups there and someone's bringing you like a small offer. And so I see you moving on with the strength card. You're moving on. And to, to clarify that, you have the Ace of Wands. So you are going to be starting a new passionate beginning. Something that you have a lot of passion for. What are Virgos faring? Why is the Knight of Wands here? Okay, so to clarify this Knight of Wands, someone's coming in very quickly. You get the Page of Wands. This is a message coming in from someone. This can be a fire sign in Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. But you're worried about this person coming in with a message. And wanting to come towards you. How are other people seeing Virgo spirits? Okay, so to clarify the Eight of Swords and the Queen of Cups, you get the Magician. There's a decision that you need to make here that you're feeling blindfolded or you just don't want to make the decision. It's very difficult, but you do have everything you need to make the decision. You got the Magician card. You've got all the tools, everything you need to make this decision because you're feeling stuck right now. What you're hoping for, to clarify the chariot, you have the Ace of Cups. You want to move forward in a brand new beginning in love. This is really clear. This is a brand new beginning that you're very, very passionate about. A new love. And in the future, okay, let's get one more. What's going to happen in the future? Okay, <laughs> so this is really good for a In the future, there's people gossiping or someone just wanting to win there's a fight here that someone wants to win and they don't care about anybody else's feelings with this <laughs> this could be you because you've been through 
a lot of pain with the Ten of Swords for a long time. This is like one sword at a time building up in your back, feeling stabbed in the back and betrayed and um, trying to drop this Ten of Wands that you also have here. But I can see that you've almost gotten to the top of it to the top of this mountain and then you're going to drop it but you're holding on to it right now and um this higher you have the higher offense and the nine of cups so this is you making a commitment for this wish fulfillment in the future. You're making a commitment here. The Hermit card, you're spending time alone and committing to something. And it's something that you are willing to fight for, like you're standing up for yourself here. Okay, let's get, let's get a couple of the Angel Answer cards. Or these are not, these are uh, romance angels. Spirits, what do Virgo need to go know regarding this situation? What do Virgo need to know? This could be the one you've already met the romantic partner you seek. And let your friends help you ask for and accept support from others. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations, expectations on the bottom of the deck. Thank you for watching the video, Virgo. And um, please let me know if any of this, if any of these messages resonated with you. And I send you lots of love and light. Bye, Virgo.